peace and blessings my royals to anyone that's new here welcome if you haven't subscribed already please do um thumbs up if you like this type of video when i'm done um let me know if there's something leave me a message below if there's something that you would like for me to talk about what i'm about to talk about is so serious to me that it, it makes my stomach turn um a build up in your Nazis and your hair, any type of build up. And then I had someone to tell me that they had 12 years worth of beeswax in their hair and they, could, they couldn't get it out. And then I told them, yeah, you probably should just, you know, they had been cutting it out as they stopped using it they started cutting out the hair that had the beeswax and it was like you could just i mean they had been twisting 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 so that was like deeply it's deeply embedded in their hair 12 years i mean that's not something that you think that you could just go to the bowl and um automatically get out the hair is not smelling well the hair is filthy it's attracting more dirt 12 years of beeswax people are totally confused and and misled and misguided into these products and stuff that they put in their hair and they got to go to the store if they see something that says um for locks lock maintenance lock twists lock this whatever none of that stuff is even necessary that's the type of stuff to lead build up in your hair also shampooing with kemp i mean those chemicals after a while, and I'm saying this as a licensed cosmetologist since 1988, I, I would use a certain shampoo for a certain period of time in my client's hair, and then it would feel like it wasn't working anymore. That's because it left, a, it started, it was leaving a film on the person's, on my client's hair. So I would have to change up my shampoos from time to time, go back and forth between like three different ones. But back to this beeswax. I hope no one on my channel that's been here for a while is putting beeswax in their hair. And if you have, I hope you've done plenty of, of, of just regular apple cider vinegar rinses. I mean, just like dump your head in the sink and put a bunch of vinegar and water, warm water in there. And just keep your hair in there for like 10 minutes. I don't do those anymore because I don't, I mean... I don't put any product in my hair. Um, if I do, it's natural. It's aloe vera gel or light jojoba oil or whatever. A little bit of coconut oil. If I do, I mean, if I have to, like if my hair is feeling like it needs, um, you know, something, I, I give it what it needs. I don't, you know, right now I do just cleanse with water. A lot of people are against it. They think that doesn't clean the hair. But one thing I can tell you is, it's going on 13 years for me, and I don't have a buildup in my hair, and my hair don't smell like mildew. It's another thing, if your hair is smelling like mildew, if you can smell it, I can too, and it's not a cute smell, and it comes from product buildup, not drying your hair. You know those sh shampoo towels, or like, oh God, what's the name of the microfiber towels? Get you a big microfiber towel and dry, dry, dry as much as your hair as you can. Dry, dry. You know, those. It's, they started off with whatever, the, the ones that you use on your car and hurry up and, you know, make your car dry. But now they have, I like if I have like face cloths that are like that and I do have hair towels. Um, but you want to make sure that the hair dries. And if you already smell mildew, then... Um, one thing that you can do is use the yellow Listerine. I've been told, you know, yellow Listerine, supposedly soaking your hair in that, will get rid of the bacteria. That's what I was told. I've never personally done it. I'm not going to say that I came up with it. That's just what I've been told. Um... If you can smell mildew, and somebody, people have asked me about about the mildew thing, um, then you need to go ahead and, and same thing, pour pour a bottle of that, no, pour it, pour it all over your hair. I would say, don't pour a whole bottle, 
pour it all over your hair, sit with a cap for a while, you know, and let it let it work out the bacteria. Please, please, please stop putting all these products in your hair. Beeswax is not made for hair. It attracts so much dirt, bugs, it, it, everything in the, it, all the elements, everything. When you're outside, when you're inside, all the dust particles and everything will be attracted to your hair. You'd be wondering why you had lint all over your hair, why you had smells. And I mean, have I been next to um, anybody whose hair was smelling? Yeah, young man in um, the store. Um, just a young brother, maybe in his 20s or whatever, with, with dress, like long dress. And, um,. I was just like, yeah, I mean, and I was looking at his hair, and all I saw was like, you could see the build up, and if you twisting, and twisting, and twisting, you twisting all of that beeswax and stuff into the hair, or whatever product you using, everything has some type of build up in it, or after a certain amount of usage, it's going to have build up in it. So, you know, my suggestion to, I mean, tea tree oil gets rid of stuff. I mean, if it's a shampoo build up, then you could a clarifying shampoo or something like that. Uh, Paul Mitchell tea tree is, is a good one. Um, that's the main one that I could really uh, say. You don't need a, well, you could also do the vinegar. I mean, I was, you know, that's something I haven't had to do. Or, you know, I did it one time in the past, you know, tw twice, 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 twice. Um, but if you sit back with a serious buildup in your hair, yeah, that's when I start suggesting using products and stuff like that. I mean, because you want to start over fresh, and that's the only way you can really start over fresh is, is getting that buildup out of the hair. And, I mean, really just like going through, you know, if, you're, if your Nazis are... Your Congos is like mine. They think just like going through it, you know. Each don't just <laughs> no go through for real all the way to the ends. This is gonna get clean, and this is gonna get dry. Get down to the parts that's been there for a while. Get in deep. And this is again if you have a build up in your hair, you know, you wanna do the apple cider vinegar and water and then you know I wash my hair in the tub. I mean and I I rinse, 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 rinse. I, I lay down in the tub flat on my back and just let the water do what it do. Um I just and, and I just keep water on my hair for like 15, 20 minutes. My hair is uh, uh, past my my hips, so you know I, I, I tend to do it longer, and then that means that the dry time is much longer. But you know the the, the microfiber towel helps, um, or just a thick, big, thick, fluffy towel will help. Um, please stop using all these products. Then you won't have to worry about how to get all this stuff out your hair. Right now, you know, a person is literally like cutting off inches of hair as their hair grow out because they don't want to cut it all off um, because of the buildup. And I don't care what nobody say. Um, I think you could get out. It depends on how much and what it is. I think you can get out, you know, a nice amount after a period of time. But if you've been twisting beeswax into your hair i don't know if you have felt it if you if you haven't that's great i'm, I'm glad um i don't know what you can use it for i don't know what it's used for i really don't um but it's not for hair if you've been twisting this into your hair you locking that in, into your hair it's being locked into your hair do you know how hard it is to get to the core? Wow. Well, another video, you guys. Thumbs up. Uh, if you like this type of informational video, 
or if not leave me a message below and let me know what you like um hopefully you all can hear this clearly and see me good because i'm using one of my well a, a new computer and i hardly ever use it so i don't know i'll switch up from time to time but anyway, thank you, my royals. I love you guys so much for sticking with me. Even though I do a video a month, I'm going to do what I could do. And um, to my new um, watchers, please hit the subscribe button. And come on and listen to some of the things that I had to say about care and maintenance of your hair. If you're starting off, I mean, I don't twist. I don't do anything. Um... I don't, I'm so tired of all the labels and different titles for what your hair is. If you have natural hair and you, you want to hear about caring for it, you know, and if it looks like mine, come on over to my channel. And if it doesn't look like mine, if you're just rocking natural hair, I mean, natural hair is natural hair. But there is some more steps that's more important when you're rocking Nazis or Congos or so. You know, uh, people was tripping because I say dreads. Yeah, I say dreads. It's my channel. If I want to say dreads or dreadlocks, I know the whole background. I don't need people telling me, well, blah, 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 blah. I ain't new to this. <laughs> this ain't something I did because it's a fashion statement. I've studied about this, <laughs> everything for, for a minute, long before I even started. So I don't need those comments. If you see dreads in the titles, cool if you don't if you wonder why i don't say locks is because i don't say locks there's certain things that you don't say you might not say uh hell okay which a lot of people don't think is you know a good thing a lot of people don't think is a bad thing so you know let me use whatever i want to say um and stick with my channel if you're okay with that you know if it bothers you i'm sorry but i just have to be me Again, I'm queen of big K-E double and I try to just be fair and, and, and cool with everybody on my channel. You know, I answer, I answer everybody's questions. Not too many people can say that I haven't um, answered their questions. So, you know, I just don't want anybody hitting me up again asking me, why do you say, listen to some of my videos and listen to how they have evolved from my first video. You'll see that I don't, you know, most of the times I'll say Nazis or I'll say whatever I want to say. With that being said, <laughs> it just took up another two or three minutes. I love you guys. Peace and blessings. Oh, God. <laughs>